blessed, blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory, adoration to his holy name, to new day. Today, Monday, our Monday morning prayer. Our Monday morning prayer. Early Monday morning prayer. Um, I give praise to God for this opportunity. And I thank God, you know, as many of this message is going to reach, it's just to connect us with God. Believe in God for your testimony to be full this week. And I know the gracious power of His glory will surely rest upon you with this war this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ um, this is 5 a.m. in California uh, California United States of America this is 5 a.m. 5 a.m. glory be to God let us pray father we want to thank you for this beautiful morning we come to have oh Lord your wall and what you have for us to keep us moving forward that enemy plan might be aborted lord we glorify your holy name thank you for the great thing that you've done thank you for the great thing that you are doing thank you for the one that are coming thank you father for your power because nothing can be compared with you Lord, we commit this money into your hand. Let the beauty of your glory, O oh Lord, rest and abide with your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I just glorify your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, beautiful God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious mighty name, I pray. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. We thank God for this beautiful morning, which is 5 a.m. in California, United States. 5 a.m. in California, United States. But God have a word for you this week. He gave me this word because I'm praying, sick in his face, that what do you have for us? What do you have for us? He's asking me to tell everybody to walk with him means walk with God now we are going to see that when you walk with God what you surely follow there are things that must happen when you walk with God meaning leave it for him meaning let him be in charge of the son is the creator he's the one we see you through I don't want you to exercise any fear when you commit everything into his hand. When you can surrender everything into his hand. A mighty man that we see that do exceedingly great in the presence of God. A miracle, a power of beauty of his glory because the war we God. God will walk with you this week. And I want you to walk with him. Listen carefully. He wants you to walk with him. Now, I'm going to take my test from the book of Judges, chapter 7, verse 4. The book of Judges, chapter 7, verse 4. Now, listen to this. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people are yet too many. Bring them down unto the water. And I will try them for thee there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, They shall go with thee, the same shall go with thee. And of whoever I say unto thee, They shall not go with thee, the same, the same shall not go. Now listen to this carefully. This a mighty man of God. A man of God. It did not depend into his physical ability. He believed in God and is listening to instruction how the battle can be won. One thing we don't all realize is that every new week 
the first day of the week that we start working with God a lot of us we are running after money which is not we need to run with the ideas idea means when God releases idea for you it become multi billionaire trust me I want to give you a testimony about myself this happened to be back in 1983 in Nigeria I specialize in electronic security technology I'm an engineer and this is what I do I have my own company then then there are a time that time something happened to me Tiff came the bug with my office I lost a lot of money I lost a lot of money I went before the law and I prayed to God and God told me that I should not worry go back I will surprise you I will put your enemy to shame hallelujah my dear children of God get and listen to me it was wonderful I got a job for six thousand the job was given to me for six thousand and when I go to the place I was praying asking God for direction and the Lord spoke to me he gave me the plan different from the plan the way I look that is going to be perfectly installed and God showed me a different idea you know what when I finished the work I didn't tell the owner then I now told him I said well I have to change the plan because of this because of this and when I explained to him the man gave me a big hug he said how much extra do I think it's going to cost him to finish that job completely then I tell him 75,000 seven from ratio 6 when you work with God from ratio 6 to you know to 75,000 meanings I made how much 81,000 straight 81,000 from 6,000 to 81,000 God is telling Gideon here a battle need to be won a battle need to be fight and they're on their way to the journey listen carefully it doesn't matter what God have given to you to do for living but let him be in charge let him be in control don't stretch yourself this week you didn't need to stretch yourself because the Lord is telling me when you walk with him your stretch will become God's stretch hallelujah and it's going to make him work out for you God we make it work out for you this is not the week of stress every power that wants you to be stressful I come against it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in our area of your business or your office where whatever you are doing God is asking me to tell you let him take over God is not Gideon it shows him what to do for the battle ahead with my be won. God want to win your battle in finances, in any area of your life. This week is going to be a week of testimony. It's going to be a week of testimony. Stop stretching yourself. Our God is a mighty man in battle. Our God is great in power our god can do anything anytime i want you to be cheerful the beauty and the glory of god in his mightiness is going to surprise you this week he's going to glorify himself this week because he's a mighty man in battle he created the day 
He created everything. He know what is the day. He know what is this week. And it's for you. Because the Bible said the promise of God, it is for you. It is for you. For his children. For those who have redeemed from the blood of Jesus. From those Christ, you know, shed his blood for. And to those who recognize him, embrace him, and see him to be the Savior. See him that is my last hope. See him that is my everything. Knowing that all power belongs to him. He will glorify himself. I want to tell you something. I'm hearing this. The mockers of your life. Those who are mocking you. Those who are speaking negative to you. Those who thought this week is a week of embarrassment to your life. Those who felt that you are not going to make it. The disaster has come. He has taken everything from you. The Lord is asking me to tell you. Let him work for you. Stop stretching yourself. The people will know your God is mighty. He is a compatible God. No one like him. And there will be none like him. Be courageous. Be courageous. Be courageous. God expects you to walk with him. What we got? Walk with God. He doesn't want you to trust in yourself. Trust in God. Put everything to Him this week. And it's going to surprise you. He has never let any of the children down. He's not going to let you down. I experience it all the time. When I think sometimes it is over, the beauty of His glory comes. In power of his majesty and his great surprise will come, and there will be surplusity. It's a living testimony, it doesn't leave his own. God does not leave his own. I want to take you to first uh, Chronicles chapter 28, verse 20. Hear this. This instruction that is coming from David to his son Solomon. First Chronicle chapter 20 verse chapter 28 verse 20 chapter 28 verse 20 and David said to Solomon his son be strong and of good courage and do it fear not nor be dismayed for the Lord God even my God will be with thee hallelujah he will not fail thee, nor forsake thee, until thou hast finished all the work for the service of his house of the Lord. Notice it. Is it not established? Exactly it happened in his life. When the Spirit of God is in charge, nothing can hold you back. Nothing will stop you. No power will stop your business. No power will stop your job. No power will stop your contract. No power will hold you to nothing. You be redeemed with the blood of Jesus. You be redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Christ has died for you. He shed the blood on the Calvary. I don't see the power that will hold you back. This week, celebrate. For the great thing that will happen. Celebrate. I say celebrate. Because you've made up your mind to walk with God. Walk with Him. Walk with Him. God is only one you can walk with. That you will see the beauty of His glory. You know beyond your imagination. If you listen to my story. No one can tell me. The job of 6,000 will turn to 8 to 1,000. I don't believe it. I was downfolded. 
and was downfolded. The beauty of his glory was mighty, was great. It blessed people beyond their imagination. He's going to do it for you. God is going to do it. God is going to do it. He will do it. Here, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14. Note this. This is very important for you. Hebrews 9, verse 14. How much more shall the blood of Christ, whom through the internal spirit, offered himself without a spot to God, purge your conscience from dead, walk to serve the living God. Listen to this carefully. This is very important for you. Jesus didn't come to this world for you to be wasted. His blood has paid everything for you. It has renewed your life. It has changed you. I feel for God in the Bible says, Behold, all things have passed away. All things become new. Hallelujah. The beauty and the glory of God. In power of His majesty. is about to manifest His power. Upon you. Upon you. And his name will be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. His name will be honored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't care what the situation is. I don't care what devil wants you to feel about yourself. The Lord is telling you, He's gonna walk with you this week. He's gonna walk with you this week. But you gotta need to walk with him also. Walk with him. Trust in him. Believe in him. Let the truth of him rest upon you. Because a new thing will happen. Big thing will happen. Hey, I'm hearing somebody. Oh my God. He said, Oh Lord, ha, he got it to do it for me. But I'm telling you, he's going to do it. I see this week is week of your surprise. It is week of your surprises because surprises will come to your businesses to your businesses as many that watch this watch because God is not a man that can lie just walk with him let him be in charge let him be in charge let him be in charge Gideon release it to God and God glorify his name have you forgot it he said, the battle is not yours. It is his battle. It's the father of the battle that will make his glory to be established. Therefore, it is for you. Are you ready? Yes. Tap your miracle. Tap your blessing right now. This week, no sorrow for you. This week, no bitterness for you. This week, no lack in your life. This week, I'm saying it. Surprises. Oh yes, we follow. You leave it for him. Leave it for God. He's in charge. He created everything. He made it hard. Hallelujah. And after all, you are blessed. As he created you, he released the blessings. He gave you the power and authority and dominionity. He has released it to you to be in charge. They can't be in control of you. Go and be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and fulfill your blessing for this week. You are secure. Your children are secure. Your business is secure. Your job is secure. In the name of Jesus Christ. The glory of God secure in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, I want to thank you for these hours of this moment. Be glorified. Oh Lord, your word have come to your people. Holy Spirit, I pray whatever the plan of devil for any one of them in this week is catapulted now 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing someone is in my finances. He said, I need a support. I'm hearing you, you are saying it. The Lord is asking me to tell you because you walk with Him, you let Him be in charge, you will see what will happen. This week, before Wednesday, a great glory of jubilation of His Majesty will manifest upon you. Thank you, Father. Lord, thank you. I bless them, O Lord. Lord, as many that listen to this message, be connected with the blessing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No affliction will rule over you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If there is any born there and you are listening to this message and there is something in your body called sickness, today I speak to that sickness. Receive your healing and rebuke the power of that sickness. Whatever that have been taken, whatever it have been robbing you, I declare in the power that in the name of Jesus, receive your healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I thank you. The mockers, the one that wanted to embarrass you, the one that wanted to speak against you, the one that they plan evil for your good, watch of what will happen, because God is going to glorify his holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm wanting somebody right now. You that is talking to get glory of a child of God. A mocking. You better stop it. Better stop it. Because your embarrassment is coming. My great bro host Akatelia. The Lord is asking me to tell you. Your embarrassment is coming. Stop mocking God. In the name of Jesus. Stop planning even against God. I'm a crowd behind her. I feel forgotten. God is in Israel and he sees the plan, the secret of Assyria. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every evil plan, arrangement to embarrass the glory of God in your life is canceled this morning. Lord, I pray that your judgment. Oh God of great embarrassment we come against your enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. We give you praise this morning, oh Lord. Lord, we worship you. Thank you for making this way to be a week of glory, a week of blessing, a week that we are working with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be the holy name, oh Lord. In Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, I pray and amen. Amen.